want to be an influencer? Well, I have the five first steps that you need to do immediately in order to get there. And if you follow these step by step, you're going to have success. So my name is Lauren Tickner and I have now helped over 1,000 people increase their impact, influence and income all through building their personal brand. So I have shared these steps with them and now I'm really excited to share them with you. So let's just get straight into it. The first step is simple. It is finding your niche. So very often people think that an industry is a niche. So they might say, I really wanna be a fashion blogger or I really wanna be a travel influencer or something like that. But that is not a clear niche. You need to go deeper because when you go deeper, you can build a targeted audience of people who truly care about your message. So I'll give you an example. I don't just help anyone build an online business. I help people build a personal brand based online business. So these are people such as coaches or creators or influencers. They're the ones who I can help. I don't try and help someone who's trying to build an e-commerce website, build their e-commerce website, because that's not my zone of genius. When you focus in on one niche, you can become a true expert within that field because you're only gonna have to educate yourself on that particular area rather than having to learn absolutely everything. So that's the very first step. Think about who you can help what have you been through that other people are going through right now? What are your things that you're interested in? What things are you good at? What do people come to you for advice for? Okay, these are all a few of the different ways that you can figure out what your niche is. And a niche isn't an industry like I already mentioned. You need to go deeper than that. And within your niche, you could even go even deeper into a sub niche and just keep going deeper, deeper, deeper because there is no niche that is too niche. Trust me. And the cool thing is you start niche and then as time goes on, you can expand. So you start off narrow and then you get broader and broader and broader. So for example, right now I'm helping coaches, creators and influencers build a personal brand based online business. As time goes on, maybe my message is going to get broader and I'm just going to be doing overall entrepreneurial information that is just going to help all sorts of entrepreneurs. I don't know. I mean, this is just an example because my industry is entrepreneurship, but I've just gone deeper into that. So anyway, step number two is the most important thing and this is adding value to your audience every single day you need to post to social media or your podcast every single day without fail and I like to tell people choose two platforms to begin with and have one of them be video or audio because people can connect with you on a deeper level on your video or your audio platform so for example you get to see me right now you're seeing my mannerisms how I move how I talk and I'm able to share with you a deeper level of information than if it was just through an Instagram caption. Same thing goes with my podcast called Impact School. I'm able to go into a lot of depth on there, so subscribe to that if you haven't already. And subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already here as well. So it's really important just to add value every single day. Every time you post to social media, I have an impact filter for you, okay? So this is the impact filter, and this is gonna filter out the rubbish that your audience does not need. It is what value is this adding to my target audience, okay? Every time you post a social, ask yourself that question. Because if you ask yourself, what value is this adding to my target audience? Not only does it make sure that you focus on actually adding value, but it also ensures that you are focusing on the people who need your help. And if you're just posting and it's not adding value or it's not for your target audience, it's just noise and it's gonna turn people away and make them likely to unfollow you. If there are any influencers watching this right now, you're probably making this mistake because this step, Number three is all about engaging with your audience. I don't understand why when some people make a post, they get a bunch of comments and they just don't reply to any of them. Engaging with your audience is so fundamental when it comes to building up your personal brand and becoming an influencer, okay? It actually breaks my heart as to how many influencers there are out there who don't give their audience what they need. If they were to engage back and reply to every single comment, like I will on the comments below here, if you drop me a comment, I am going to promise to reply to you. Even if I have a thousand, I will reply to all of them because engaging with your audience is so key. So my next mission for you is to make sure that you're replying to all of the comments. And if you think it takes you too much time, 
maybe this just isn't for you. Step number four is being authentic, vulnerable, and it's showing your weaknesses, but not every single weakness, okay? There are some things that you will want to share on social media, and there are some things that you may just want to keep for yourself. I think that if you're going through a struggle right now, sometimes it can be good to share it, but if you share it immediately, it can sometimes damage your credibility. So I think it's important to be selective with what you're sharing, but always be authentic and be vulnerable and do show your weaknesses because that is what is going to help people connect with you and building up a personal brand and becoming an influencer is all about human connection so that is really really important and then i just want to go on to number five <sighs> don't take cringy sponsorships the amount of times i see hashtag ad on my feed for a product that doesn't even relate to that influencer or is like some teeth whitening thing or some skinny tea or just some rubbish like that. It's crazy, like I see it so often. So if you're someone who's trying to build your personal brand right now, stop taking these cringy sponsorships. They are doing nothing for you. They are not adding value to your audience. And that's what they should be doing. If you're going to work with a brand, ensure that it's gonna help your audience. For example, I work with this brand, Aura Ring, okay? I don't get paid to talk about it in this video. I don't get paid to talk about it, but they've given me an affiliate link and a discount code for you guys because I'm so obsessed with it that I asked for one because it tracks your sleep, it monitors your sleep, and I literally love it so much. So that's why I work with this brand because I know that it's going to help you. So if you are interested, left link below. I've got like a $50 off discount if you type the name Lauren in at checkout. It's amazing, okay? And the reason why I shared that with you just then because I'm freaking passionate about it but if some hairbrush company was to come to me and tell me Lauren I've got a hairbrush for you like can you post a photo like this I'm not gonna do that because even if they would they might pay me a thousand pounds or like one thousand three hundred four hundred dollars or something but I'm not going to do it because it doesn't necessarily align with my brand immediately. Sure, I might do it in a YouTube video or something if it really, if I really think that it's an amazing brush and it's gonna revolutionize the lives of my audience. But for the most part, it's not going to, okay? I see people have discount codes and links to brands in their bios. What are you doing? Seriously, that is space that you can use for your own brand, okay? The thing that you need to focus on first when it comes to becoming an influencer and building your personal brand is your brand. I like to think about it in this sense. So let's say you go on your Instagram page and the nine most recent posts are pretty much what people are gonna see as soon as they click on your page. That's like a portfolio. So out of that portfolio, out of your nine posts, if you're having to do a post for a brand every week, one or two of those posts are gonna be branded up posts. So that means that now there's only gonna be seven or eight posts that are for your personal brand. Basically, when you do a brand post, it's taking away from your own portfolio. And the cool thing is, like the amount of time that you spend making content for that brand, you could actually spend building a product for your audience and then selling that because let's say you were to only sell one ebook for 40 pounds or something, $50, that one ebook could be about the same amount that you're getting paid to make that post for that brand. So I know people think it's cool to say I'm sponsored by or I'm sponsored by this company or that company. I used to think it was too and I used to be sponsored by brands, I used to write the brands in my bio but ever since I stopped doing that I have built a much more loyal audience of people who truly care what I have to say which is you who's watching this right now by the way, hit thumbs up if you're enjoying this and the cool thing is that these people want to buy from me because they know that I spend my time and effort focusing on things that I really care about rather than constantly recommending a new thing here and there. Because if you're constantly recommending new things, then people don't necessarily know what to trust because there's just so much noise. So that was that. That was me explaining this as briefly as I possibly could. If you want to take the next steps, then I do have all my online programs. And honestly, the first one and the best one for you to enroll in right now, I would say is Impact Your Niche. So just head to impactyourniche.com and you can grab it. And as somebody who's watched this video, I'm actually going to give you 20% off. If you just type the code YouTube at checkout, that will be automatically applied because I want to be able to help you become an influencer and build a profitable personal brand and someone who's credible, who's not just doing cringy sponsorship, who is actually making a difference in people's lives. Because that's what being an influencer is really, is being able to influence a specific group of people to help them create a better life for themselves. So thank you so much for watching this. My name is Lauren Tickner and I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos and enroll in Impact Your Niche.